a independent film that made two million dollars that no one really seen but a movie that holds a special place in my heart since age 11 i'm so happy to do this review guys let's let's talk about this let's get into this one Raising Victor Vargas, directed by Peter Solet, is a 2002 indie film. This movie is about a teenage boy living in Brooklyn. I think it was Brooklyn because you could see Lower Manhattan. It could have been the Bronx because of the apartment buildings and how it looked. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I'm sure I was seeing Manhattan, so it probably could have been Brooklyn. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. In this movie, this boy named Victor Vargas lives in this teeny apartment with his younger brother and sister and his grandmother that takes care of these kids. Now, he doesn't have his parents with him, so it's just his grandmother taking care of these kids with little to no money. And we go through seeing the difficulty the grandmother has with controlling these teens and preteens. Without spoiling it, Victor, who is played by Victor Rasak, I think I pronounced that correctly, he's in Fifty Shades of Grey as Anastasia's, like, guy friend you know the guy that's friend zone in 50 shades of gray he's that guy i just found it out when i was getting information for this review victor and his friend meets these two girls played by judy Marte and melanie diaz at this community pool and they try to talk and get a friendship with these girls you know trying to talk to girls as young guys do but these girls have a bond together and they have an understanding between the two that they don't need any guy in their life and that they're fine and many guys are assholes and for the most part a lot of guys in this movie are assholes when they try to speak to these girls now that is the more funny and more entertaining subplot of this movie um but what I loved about this movie, or at least one of the many things I loved about this movie, was how lovable and kind Victor was. He was—he just really is a lovable and kind guy, and more lovable and more kind compared to the other male side characters that is in this. Now, sure, his grandmother is having a hard time with him, but he or his siblings are not bad kids, per se. His grandmother is just not at the right age to give these kids what they need what is needed to be said to them or what is not needed for them at the time this movie i have to admit now this movie was really cringeworthy at moments i just got done watching it a few minutes minutes ago and i went right to my microphone here it, it was cringeworthy at moments for this simple reason i lived through this like trying to talk to females the entire sex thing during teenage years Hoping people would not find out you did something with someone or you will get embarrassed. Yes, I lived through all of those things. And I also dated and have many Puerto Rican and Dominican friends. So I, I've been through this in ways. Now, when I first seen this movie as a kid, I was maybe eight or not eight. I was uh, maybe 10 or 11 years old. And I love this movie right away because of how interesting it was. With I was hoping that the guys would get these girls. Now... When I found out about this movie, I was searching Comcast like on demand one random weekend. And I'm like, Raising Victor Vargas. I'm like, huh, whatever. Let's see what this is. And from the very, f now if you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. From the very first scene, I was sucked into like, okay, I need to know where this movie is going now. And then when they introduced the female characters, I was even more into this movie, hoping that these guys um, could really get this relationship they were trying to with these girls now rewatching this this movie for my review here it it was even better because i had got to live through that experience of what those boys were doing now in the movie they were a lot older than what i was when i first seen this so i haven't seen this in so long so i was able to see this movie not see it after so long and then i went through that period of time that victor vargas at least with the relationship wise and the females he went through so i had not seen this movie in over 10 years but i'm so glad i'm reviewing this anyone that lived in, in a city you can you can understand where this movie is coming from especially lower class to middle class people now before i give my rating this movie can be a really this movie can have a special place in so many people's hearts because the cast is family. The, the brothers are actually family. Um, right, you know, the brothers are family. And for the most part, these this this is really not acting to them. This seems like they are really being themselves because they use their real names in this movie. And they had great chemistry. 
it's so it's really not like these these they're acting they're just doing what they probably experienced in their neighborhoods because they seem like they were from these neighborhoods this movie hits on every note it was trying to hit i'm so happy to, to to review this movie i have to say that raising victor vargas is a 91 out of 100 i gotta give it a 91 out of 100 a great movie if you from the urban area see this you need to see this guys get in a comment section let me know your thoughts about raising victor vargas check the playlist for other movie re reviews and sports content guys to the next video i'm out